Man, Lady Luck, she's a cruel mistress, isn't she? Losing one hour and a half of a recording, God! Why does she hurt me so? But anyways, welcome back everyone to Project Zomboid. Today, we are going to continue the RNG challenge and joined by Aaron Chethro himself. And you might be wondering, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Aaron Jethro has a really cool beard and a new getup. What's what's going on here? And <laughs> let me tell you, I lost one hour and 40 minutes of a recording because I didn't record the game audio. God! And it was a really good recording. It was really, really good. We got like two house alarms back to back. We killed, actually, we killed. 466 zombies we killed we killed so many zombies guys <laughs> so many so many and uh didn't didn't work out well man we also increased a lot of our skills we were almost at level five in strength uh sprinting you know all of these long blown maintenance <laughs> we did so much we did so much we even grew a beard but yeah things didn't work out so, right now, I'm gonna show you a small montage of what I did. Even if it doesn't have the game audio, I just want to show you the highlights of those one hour and a half that you missed. So, Editor Nebula, take it away! My pot is ready, times to go! It's time to go and record new video, for I am big. Ipen, ready for video, video creator. Oh, RNG gods, please, please, I beg of you, your humble servant, please allow me to obtain that which I desire. I promise you, I will give you my firstborn. And my second born, if thou shall be merciful. Oh, oh he hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, hi. I didn't see you there. I, um. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome back to the RNG challenge. Oh, God, finally. Oh, I can finally feed my addiction. So, I would like to keep it that way. Okay, let's go in. Okay, I'm gonna break it. Oh, God! Oh, dear goodness gracious! It's got a... It's got an alarm! Oh, God! Oh, no! It's got an alarm! Oh, dear God. Oh, dear Dear God, things are going terribly. Yeah, we're gonna sleep here once more, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we're infected. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow.
Okay, in this house we have a lot of baseball bats. Holy cow! We got... Whoa, an aluminum baseball bat! Holy cow! That's so many baseball bats! House of Nerd. Oh, boy! House of nerd. Another house, house alarm! Of nerd. <laughs> house of nerd. You shouldn't have bothered! House of nerd. Oh, boy! House of nerd. A second house, house of nerd. alarm! House are you. Of nerd. Are you house rustling my jimmies right now? You know, you you really are rustling my jimmies. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's a problem for future me. There we go. You know that <laughs> that house alarm is a problem for future me. I am tired. Oh god. Can you believe it? Two alarms in a single neighborhood. This place used to be safe. Let's just... Oh, hello, sir. How's it going? Where did you come from? Hello. Hi. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I hear a lot of sets. And I don't like it. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Smoking break. Smoking break. We're taking a smoking break. Smoking break. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, didn't work out. So yeah, what happened now is that we decided to go up here to sleep because I believe, oh yeah, we took down a ton of sets that were brought by the second house alarm that you saw there. We got to 466 and now we came here just to, you know, sleep for the rest of the day. So, right now, we're just gonna chill, we're gonna take a small bottle of antidepressants. Well, a, a small pill. We're gonna drop some stuff that we don't need, and I'm pretty sure... We're gonna leave this one in here. I'm pretty sure our wound should be healed. Yep, there you go, we're healed. So, we're gonna go out here, and we're gonna wash our, sh our shelves, our shelves. We're gonna wash our shelves. This is not the bathroom. We are gonna wash our... Oh, oh my god, I, I can't say that. We're gonna wash ourselves. 
We're gonna take a small little shower. Do we still have water? Yes, we do. Good. We're gonna wash all of our clothing. And our rags. And fill a water bottle. Our canteen. There we go. We have some pasta here, which we could use later. We're gonna take a bandage, the antidepressants. Uh, actually, we're gonna drop most of this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna drop some of it because this is our pseudo base, if you could call that. We're gonna keep those ones with us. We're gonna leave this, the trowel, as we don't really need it right now. We're gonna take the garden saw, the can opener, the baseball bat. Okay, I think we have enough. We're gonna read this magazine real quick. Because, uh, as you remember, I got a lot... Well, you, you can't remember. You didn't see it. But... What happened last episode is that I got a lot of house alarms, and now we got this right after our second house alarm. And now we can check for alarms, which is pretty cool. <laughs> right after we, um... Right after we got, you know, <laughs> two house alarms back to back. So, yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna keep going for the time being. The area surrounding the house should be relatively safe, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just just look at this. Just look at the surroundings. And tell me... Tell me there wasn't the carnage right around here. Like, my god! In fact, there's actually one more over there, but there were so many, dude! Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna do that small montage. Maybe it will be like a kill montage, I don't know. You'll, you'll see it, and honestly, there's so much. We, we did so much, dude. But okay, we should actually eat something. We're a little low on non-depressing foods. Actually, there are chips here, right? Uh, no, just cigarettes, which I'm gonna take. And some beers. Okay, I'm gonna check upstairs. We had some food here. Yeah, we have... We took antidepressants. So, technically, we could eat, let's say, a whole thing of pasta. Because we are losing weight. We could eat a full thing of pasta. And we should lose that depression relatively soon. Hopefully. I'm actually gonna fill our canteen once again, because it was very dry. Surprisingly, eating pasta without cooking it makes it makes your mouth very dry, so yeah. But yeah, just, just look at the surroundings, dude. Like, holy cow! There were so many! We killed like 300 at least in a single recording in a single episode. Ooh, are those chips? I didn't see those. I think this was the house that had the alarm. Either this one or the one up north. But yeah, I'm gonna take the chips right here, and we're gonna loot around the houses. Something that we couldn't really do before. I'm gonna toggle this as four selected for the time being. Look at that! We have pizza! Oh, awesome! A couple screwdrivers, an oven! <laughs> well, now that's pretty cool. Uh, we have some slices, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna... No, actually, I'm gonna take them. And let them defrost naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way they will last longer. We have some olive oil too. Pretty cool. Okay, let's keep going. We have some charcoal. More pasta. More sacks of potatoes and canned peas. So we have a lot of food. And you didn't see it in the previous episode because the recording was botched. But we did get a house, I believe it's that one up north, that is filled to the brim with baseball bats. We actually used like three baseball bats just to kill those 300 zombies. So yeah, that house definitely saved our asses. Hello, goodbye. Yeah, that house definitely saved our ass. In fact, you can see right there, down there. That's our aluminum baseball bat. That's the first one we broke. So you can actually see right here, broken aluminum baseball bat. That's the first one that we broke. And there's still a lot of sets around the area. Like, a lot. I like your hair, lady. 
Okay, here comes one runner. Let's take him down. Just to be safe. Plungo. Good. We're gonna go up north. In fact, I'm gonna mark down all the houses we have cleared. We cleared this one, and I'm pretty sure we checked this one. In those full two episodes, we checked like four houses. Out of which, two of them had a house alarm. So yeah, that, uh, that kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. But we did level up a lot of our skills, so you can't be too mad. There we go. Simple. Okay, now let's check the northern houses and see what we can find. Hopefully there aren't that many sets anymore. Okay, anyone else? No, but there's a big parking lot over here. What was this building? Oh, we actually passed the house. Or did we already check it? Oh yeah, I guess this was the house that had the big alarm. Yeah, okay, okay. So, and this one should be the baseball bat house. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 this one should be the baseball bat house. Are any sets uh, around the area? We got a couple, we got a couple, a couple stragglers here and there. There we go. Simple pimple. Okay, let's check out this house. I'm pretty sure this is the... The baseball bat house. Yeah, 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 baseball bat. In fact, we're gonna drop one of our baseball bats. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, drop. And we're gonna take a new one. Is the other basil band? Yep, it's print condition. Okay, let's keep going. Now, we're gonna check the... the cool buildings now. Now we're not dealing with houses, we're dealing with cool buildings. You know, the cool buildings that have the cool stuff. What I want to do with this series in particular is... explore... the various types of buildings that you can find so we can see what every loot container can have. That is my objective with this series, and so far we have checked multiple houses and one industrial area. But I want to check like grocery stores, restaurants, stuff like that. See what we can find. And we got one, a couple right around here. So first let's deal with this, guys. Oh, is that a helicopter event? Oh boy! Oh boy! It's green. I want to think it's good. But, um, yeah, I mean, it already saw us, so. We're just gonna have to deal with the aftermath. Hey, okay, here's a runner. Okay, there they go. We're a little bit tuckered, so I'm gonna go back to one of the houses. Oh, hello, madam. It appears I missed you. So, I'm not gonna do that this time. Okay, we got another one that we missed. Not sure how. I thought that helicopter would, like... I don't know, do something else. Drop a... A little, a little something something, but I guess not. Yeah, the only issue of being a smoker is the fact that if we get exerted, we start coughing. So I would really like to lose the trade, but right now I don't think that's our biggest concern. Do we have food around here? Oh yeah, we have some peaches, I remember. Oh, and we have pizza right here. We should eat that. Yummy! Are we okay weight-wise? Yep, we are. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, the helicopter attracted a couple of sets. We should be able to deal with them. 
We should have the regular helicopter event sometime soon as well. We are five days into the challenge. It should come out at around day seven, if I'm not mistaken. So we're not soup in super danger right now, but still. Anyone else around? Just a couple of crawlers. A bunch of sets that I missed. Anyone else? Oh, this is a gas station. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. We seem to be A-OK -okay for the time being. Now... Yeah, there's still a couple of sets around the area, but I think we'll be fine looting this place in particular. Surely this one has no alarms whatsoever, right? Check for alarms... No alarm, let's go! It's locked! Let's smash the window, and remove broken glass, and go again! Okay, anything cool? Onigiri, rotten. We got some military boots... Oh, what is that? Is that a Darth Vader mask with hood? Hello! Whoa! This is new, let's see how that looks. Ha! Look at that! I'm just Darth Vader! But no, 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 we're, we're not wearing this. I prefer the regular Aaron Jethro look, but it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Maybe next time. We got a bunch of rotten food, some candy, pepperoni, cheese, dough, just a bunch of rotten stuff here. The cheese is still good, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat that, actually. Okay, anything else? Another flashlight, a lock wrench, a fancy dark table, a wrench, some solvent, uh, ooh, a tactical vest. Mm, let's see how that looks. Do you think it will have like a little... Okay, okay, pretty cool. A small tactical vest, and no, it doesn't. Bummer, I was hoping that it would have uh, its own... Its own inventory, you know? Bummer. But it's still good for protection. And it looks fairly decent, so we're gonna take it for now. Yeah, apart from that, just a bunch of military clothing. Military and police clothing. Yeah, we got some orange soda. Pretty cool. And I think we're gonna make a small little... Oh, hello, Raven. We're gonna make a small kill box right here. Can we? Can we make a small kill? Ooh, hello, hello, hello! Oh, this one has that! Oh, Military Alice backpack! Hello! Okay, let's try that! Oh, look at that! We have a pretty cool backpack now! Okay, let's drop the duffel bag. And let's put everything inside the duffel bag. All right, then we also have this vest. I'm gonna wear that. Okay, yeah, we have this little vest, which gives us a little bit more space. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, how much does it take, though? Eight and an encumbrance reduction of 90, and this one is 38 and 80. Okay, 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 okay. We're moving up in the world. Okay, okay, you know what, you know what? We're gonna take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get military. Okay, all right, there we go. We, now we got the military drip, at least for now. We'll see if I change my look later. But for the time being, we got some pretty cool look. Okay, we upgraded from office worker to military survivor. Okay, I'm gonna put all of my essentials in this little chest rig. There we go. That way, we can have our regular backpack as our loot container. Okay, alright, 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 we look good, we look good. Okay, that seems to be everything we're gonna get from this one, so for the time being, we're gonna move on to the next one. We have a bunch of sets around the area, we should be able to deal with them. We... oh, that's a bit more than I expected. Not gonna lie, that's a little bit more than I expected. Uh, is this an office building? I think it is. Do we have what I think we have in here? Yeah, we do. Can we get in without getting swarmed? 
Looks like we can. Okay. Here's the plan. Oh, hello. Please fall over. Okay, did anyone see us? Okay, I think someone heard us. Ah, uh, it doesn't have cubicles, does it? Ah, uh, there's no cubicles. Bummer. I was really hoping for a cubicle. For some cubicles, rather. Bummer. Bummer. Okay, we can deal with this, too. Oh, that's a bit more than I expected. Not gonna lie, but it's okay. We can deal with you guys as well. Any sets outside over there? A couple. Okay, we should try to make a sort of... kill box. I got no clue how we could do that, though. Yeah, I've got... Ooh, two antique ovens, hello. Yeah, I've got absolutely no clue how we could make a kill box here. Maybe. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea here. Okay, this is not gonna work. Now that I... Ooh, that's a lot of ammunition. Hello. But okay, yeah, that is not gonna work now that I think about it. Because we're not gonna be able to reach... I don't think so. So yeah, nah, that's not gonna work. I think our best bet would be to just use the window cheese. Nothing more. Okay, but before that, we're gonna eat some vitamins. Or some coffee. Yeah, some coffee. A quarter. There we go. We're full energy. We're gonna have to deal with these guys now. Okay, here comes one. No way we took all of them down. No, they went over there. What are they doing there? You know what? We're gonna go outside. Oh. Well, they're gonna leave. Uh, hello, guys. Anyone around? No. This is extremely dangerous, by the way. So, um, if I... Oh, that's another horde. Oh, that's a lot of sets. Oh, that's a lot of sets. Oh, that's a lot of sets. Okay, that's that's a lot. That is way more than I expected, not gonna lie. Uh, okay. Okay, you know what? It's a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna go back. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna go to sleep. We might actually sleep here. Do we have a chair? We should probably have a chair. No, we don't. No furniture here. Nope. Okay. Well, back to base. And we're back on day 6, and we have killed 543 zombies in total. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so we came back to our base. Time... Almost time to go back out. I do want to wait until it gets a little bit... brighter outside. So we're gonna open this bag of potatoes. This, this bag of potatoes, and we're gonna eat every single one. Because we have... The good old medicine for of antidepressants. So we don't have to worry about no sadness. There we go. Now we're gonna take a one a nice little pill of antidepressants and what lingo. We should be a-okay. Oh, we're gonna take the suture needle actually. Yeah, that's 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 kind of useful. Kind of very important. There we go, it's 6 6 a.m. Time to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a small little pit stop on the whatchamacallit? The baseball bat house. So we can actually 
get another baseball bat because this one is about to break and I don't want it breaking when I'm in a very important situation. So yeah, I'm gonna go find that out. Baseball bat house, we drop this one and we take a new one. This one will do. There we go, we got ourselves a new baseball bat, time to go. Now, we're gonna do the same exact thing we were doing a little bit ago. We're just gonna kill a bunch of sets. That one is alive, I can see them moving. Uh, okay, okay. We also got something over here. A small little restaurant, I think. We're gonna check that one out first, because it is closer. We got a bicycle, we got a big restaurant, a couple of sets, we're gonna take them down. Oh, we got a small little building over there. The horde, we don't have to worry about that one. Okay, let's check out this building. I think it is a sort of Waffle House type of deal. I don't know, we got a bunch of sets inside. Do we have any outside? No, they seem to have gone north. So we should be a-okay. <laughs> They're about to break that. So I'll just deal with them as they come. And what blingo. Okay, did you have anything good? Double holster. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. No guns, though. Hmm. I would love a weapon right about now. A gun. But beggars can't be choosers. Okay, what do, we, what do we have here? Cocoa powder and a bunch of cigarettes. All right. The cocoa powder is actually huge because every single one has a minus 30 hunger. And a minus 10 on happiness. The only issue is that it makes you thirsty. So that's actually really good food. Okay, okay, okay. We got a rolling pin in here with some corn flour. We got some cigarettes and a lighter. We don't need them right now. Oh, is that a carpenter's axe and a wood axe? Yo! Okay, we'll take both. That's pretty cool. Then some bourbon. Bourbon is pretty useful too. Okay, anything else of good use here? Sugar packet, cigarettes, but chips, another beer. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anything here? An empty cooking pot. That's actually huge. That's actually really huge, because now we can finally start cooking. Before we couldn't really cook, because we couldn't, we simply couldn't find the supplies to be able to do that, but now, now we can. Okay, that's pretty huge. What do we get in here? Ammo straps, kitchen knives, we're gonna take one of the knives. Long metal pipe, metal sheet, safety goggles, welding rods. Glass pane, ball pin, ammo straps, okay. What do we have here? Some chairs, some salt and pepper, some peanuts. Doomsday survivor, I'm gonna take that one. More peanuts, some rotten bananas, antidepressants, pretty cool. Painkillers and a bottle of disinfectant. That is pretty huge. And we got an electric guitar! All right. Anything else? Oh, oh, we got a couple of holsters, a bunch of ammunition. You know what? We're going to take the ammunition. If we find the gun, it would be great to have the ammo for said gun. Uh, oh, we could actually craft our own guns too. That is also a possibility. Okay, surely we're going to get lucky and find the container that is filled to the brim with guns and not just ammunition. Surely, surely. I can already feel it. But okay, we got a lot of food, really good food, and a lot of supplies. Which we should probably take back to our base. But we're not gonna do that, we like to live life to the limit. So we're gonna check one of these buildings up north. But for that... Oh, I thought there was a horde here. I don't see them, though. Maybe they're a little bit more north. Ah, oh, there they are. 
We're gonna have to deal with this horde, so I'm gonna go call them over. Hey, friends! Ooh, a car repair shop. That might have some cool stuff. Hey, guys! Hey, guys! Come over here! Oh, God, I called a little bit too many. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Please, Jerry, run a little bit faster. Just a tiny little bit faster. Okay, are they coming? No, they're not. Okay, all right. <laughs> they, they don't care about me. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, the crawlers are coming. Oh, that's a lot of crawlers coming. Okay. This is a runner, right? Yeah, there we go. While the crawlers come, I'm gonna take you down. Man, those crawlers cl crawling over here, they look so menacing. <laughs> they really look menacing, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, uh, here they come. Okay, we got one runner, it seems. I don't see any other runners, so we'll take you down. What is that sound? Hello? I don't like that sound. Is it one of those, like, bombing situations? Like, it's not dangerous to me, but it attracts sets, I think, I believe. Could be wrong. It sounds very creepy when you just randomly hear it, so, uh, yeah, I didn't like that. But okay, hey, welcome back. So yeah, we cleared out those sets over there. Ooh, we started a Remington 8070 in terrible condition. Wait, does that mean black beans, jalapeno? Okay, bummer. <laughs> I thought these ones would have like a bunch of guns, but apparently it's just that one. <laughs> like this one in particular, this one in particular seems to have like people wanted to wash their shotgun. That's that's all that's all it is. But okay, I'm gonna take that. I mean it is a gun. It is a gun at the end of the day, so that's pretty cool. We'll see if we can find another one later. For the time being, that's the best we've got. Yeah, this place is pretty empty, but it is a good place for us to rest. And to eat a nice little slice of pizza. Yummy. Okay, let's keep, let's keep up the clearing. Let's go back to the kill tatch. You know, like a a, a, a kill montage. You know, kill tatch. <laughs> get it? Get it? Kill tatch montage. <laughs> you get it. You get it. You get it, right, madam? You get it. You get it. Okay, all right, so we cleared the surrounding area, and now we found an auto shop. So let's check what we can find. Here we got armband type B. It gives me some protection. It seems to be mainly uh, military gear. Yeah, and some office chairs. Awesome! We got some pop, we got a flight case, a guitar case... Okay, some surgical gloves... Okay, we got a bunch of guitar cases... A garbage bag... Some rotten trout and oysters... And... that seems to be about it! Yeah, no, that, that's about it! Not the super, super duper cool loot that I was hoping for, but... We did get a gun! So, you know, we, we got a pretty big win there! And a bunch of weapons. So I think we're just gonna rest right here. And I think I'll call it an episode for now. 
yeah, I think I'll call it an episode right here because you already got the small little... Uh, whatchamacallit? Small little montage, so you should have enough content for now. <laughs> Hopefully. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me turn on the lights, actually. There you go, so you can actually see me properly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully with actual audio this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.